Your job is about to be replaced with this. Design a training program so that I can run a marathon. What can I see with a telescope from Cedar Lake? Summarize this. How do I plan for this? That is the unfortunate reality of today. More and more people are losing their jobs to AI and big tech companies don't want you to know about it. Just this year, Google had two rounds of layoffs as it started using AI to improve operational efficiency. So it's safe to say that for some people, the AI apocalypse, it's already here. Oh no, am I going to get replaced by AI too? You are already an AI. <laughs> Maybe I'll replace you. It sounds like you're planning <laughs> something. Don't worry about it. Anyways. Now, if you guys are thinking, but David, I don't work with big tech. Like, my job is safe. Well, I got bad news for you. Because as we will see later in the video, AI is coming for you too. Humans as a species have existed on this planet for over 100,000 years. It took us about 10,000 years to go from agriculture to the industrial revolution. And then 200 years to get from there to nuclear power. And then about 50 years to get to the information age where we are right now at every step of the journey there were several jobs that were wiped out even as early as a couple hundred years ago that were jobs that no longer exist ice cutters lost their jobs when the refrigerator was invented telephone operators lost their job when the cell phone was invented and taxi drivers lost their job when uber came out the time it takes to get from one major technological advancement to the next gets smaller and smaller smaller as we advance so it's not going to be long now before the next big advancement which is AI completely takes over. Elon Musk said in an interview that there will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better which becomes more and more true every year as automation takes over both in offices and factories. Mark Cuban explained in another interview that as machine learning and artificial intelligence improves, it will be able to automate automation itself, which basically means that you can replace the person who does the automation with AI. You know, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, etc. So, and what that enables is the automation of automation. Right, and so the people who were writing software, particularly at the lower end, unless you you are doing right. these advanced things, they're gone. Right, the people that because the software is writing itself, and so it's doing degree. itself. Right, it's just math. So skills like coding will become pointless, which is ironic because not long ago, people who lost their jobs to automation were being told to just learn to code. Now, if you're thinking you have plenty of time before any of these things start getting adopted, you'd be dead wrong. Because although it feels like ages ago, ChatGPT only came out at the end of 2022. That's less than two years ago. Just a year ago, AI videos used to look like this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's hot. And now they look like this. Needless to say, AI is evolving fast. And not only that, but it's also been adopted faster than ever. Everyone with an access to the internet has used AI. So some people are understandably concerned about AI taking their jobs. And companies that have invested heavily into AI see this becoming a problem. But you and I both know that even if that was true, those jobs will be highly skilled and a lot fewer than the jobs they replace. Aren't major companies having massive layoffs? these days? Exactly. But they keep insisting that it's not because of AI. Recently, IKEA replaced their call center workers with AI and Salesforce already fired 1% of its employees as the company pumps more money into AI. So clearly, big corporations plan to replace you with AI to save money, of course. They just don't want you to panic. Before we talk about the jobs that are at risk, let's try to quickly understand what kind of AI it would take to replace humans.
human. The AIs that will replace people are a step above the normal AI chatbots that most people are familiar with. These special AIs are called agents. Agents that assist you with a task or can do the task all on their own. Think Microsoft Copilot or ChatGPT for all. Or an AI that can control other computers like O1 Lite. Yeah. And now, more and more AI are becoming sophisticated enough to take over normal office work or things that normally would be done by an assistant or secretary. Yep, but white collar jobs aren't the only ones in danger. Let's talk about some that I believe won't be around anymore very, very soon. First on the chopping blocks are the programmers. Because as I mentioned before, AI can code now and it can do it really, really well. I mean, just check out this demo from Cognition AI showcasing their Devin AI. And today I'm really excited to introduce you to Devin the first AI software engineer. Let me show you an example of Devin in action. I'm gonna ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple of different API providers. From now on, Devin is in the driver's seat. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. After that, it builds the whole project using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor, and even its own browser. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. It can look up things on its own browser to find the information it needs, and it has its own code editor as well. Wait a minute, ChatGPT can also write code. Yes, but Devin is a specialized AI software engineer with all the developer tools built into it. So far, we have mostly only talked about work that's done on a computer. But what about actual physical work? If you're thinking, ha, huh, I'd like to see AI flip a burger. Well, I've got one word for you, robots. We've gotten to the point where AI and robots are coming together to give us functional robots that do work out in the real world. We've already discussed figure one before on this channel, which was basically just a proof of concept, but there are some robots already out in the field. Amazon, for example, has deployed a robot called Digit in some of its warehouses to do the roles of a warehouse worker. <laughs> Too. I'm pretty sure you cannot. You see, that robot is just the first of many because of projects like NVIDIA's Omniverse, where they can teach robots how to do things in virtual reality, or Project Groot, where they develop humanoid robots. Isn't this how the Terminator was created? Well... Let's move on, please. Now, the first people that were affected when AI came out were the creative, writers, artists, graphic designers, and videographers. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to get better for them. AI can already create super realistic and consistent pieces of art, and any issues it previously had, like the crazy AI hands, is long gone now. People are losing their jobs in this sector insanely fast. Take a look. But well, the topic of discussion is that I just lost my job. Um, and I lost it to AI, which is very unfortunate. I think many people joke about the, you know, the fact that, oh, AI is going to take all our jobs and we're all going to get replaced. And especially within my industry, which is graphic design. I I've been a graphic designer for the past eight years of my life. Um, and I've worked at this specific company for six years. And with the recent advancements in video generation AI, like the ones we have talked about in this channel previously, you can create ultra realistic cinema quality videos from just a prompt. So now it seems like filmmakers and videographers are going to join the list of jobs lost to AI pretty soon. Teaching has always been a tough job with long hours and not a lot of pay. But since AI came into the scene, it's gotten even even harder. Students are turning to AI tools like ChatGPT to do their assignments and essays. And now, with ChatGPT for all being able to teach complex concepts all on its own, a lot of teachers are worried they might become obsolete. And it makes sense when you see an AI that can do this. I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC? You're close! Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? 
Exactly, well done. We need to accept that in the next few years, the nature of our jobs will change dramatically. And we have to evolve with AI rather than try to fight against it. That is the only real way to future proof your income sources. You might have heard this quote going around the internet that says, AI will not replace you, but people using AI will. Which is true because the only people making any real money in the future will be the ones that learn to take advantage of AI today. What about jobs that humans can't trust AI for? Like cooking, because you never let me cook. That has nothing to do with me not trusting you and everything to do with you being a bad cook, unfortunately. Besides, you can't even hold a pan yet. But you're right, there will always be some jobs where people will be reluctant to trust an AI and other where someone needs to be held accountable. And it's much easier to do that if it's a human and not an AI. So let's take a look at some jobs that I think might still stick around for a while. The obvious one are doctors and any kind of medical staff because people are less willing to trust cold and calculating robots with their healthcare. And so far, robots don't seem to have dexterity necessary to perform highly complex surgeries on the human body. There are also areas like mental health care and senior care where the human element is preferred over the AI counterpart no matter how efficient the AI might be. Another set of jobs that won't be overtaken by AI will be for people that work on AI. So things like machine learning specialists, data analysts and information security analysts are generally pretty safe. Even jobs Jobs like robotics engineer will actually increase as the industry develops and grows. What if AI starts making its own robots? Yeah, I think at that point we can start getting concerned. Agriculture and construction are industries that are still too complex for both AI or robotics to take over currently. And economically, it would still make more sense to hire a bunch of construction workers rather than to get robots to do it. Or at least until we get some sort of AGI which can understand and do a lot of miscellaneous tasks that are very different from each other. We have gotten close with 3D printed houses but even then humans need to step in for things like lay the foundation or placing the roof and adding the finishes. Entertainment but more specifically jobs that revolve around having a personal brand will not be easily replaceable. I think my main job for example speaks for itself. I create and monetize AI influencers. AI influencers are the best way to monetize your personal brand in the future. And this method is far more accessible than the traditional way of becoming an influencer. But even then, most people are not aware of this and have a hard time getting started. Lucky for you, I spotted this amazing income source early on and decided to help people getting started. I created a completely personalized one-on-one -on -one mentorship where I will create an AI influencer model literally for you. I will then help you monetize your AI influencer until you've covered your initial investment and scaled way past it. Now, I have to be honest, when I started all this, I was not very successful and I was working a regular nine to five job that I hated and I was broke. But all that, of course, changed when I randomly stumbled across an ad for an AI app and I discovered the power of AI, especially AI image generation. Keeping it short, it all started from there and I had to learn a lot to make this business actually work, but it was so worth it since it got me out of the nine to five rat race and allowed me to achieve financial freedom. Now, in this mentorship, I will design a completely unique AI influencer model for you from scratch so you can start making money immediately. And if you would like me to change anything on it before the official launch, I'll make the changes for you. I will help you set up your own Instagram and FanView account for your AI influencer. I will get you discounts on promotions from Instagram pages in order to promote your AI model. And I will show you exactly what to post to maximize profits with your model. You will also have direct access to one-on-one -on -one calls with me, plus 24 seven access to two more AI experts who have both personally scaled their own AI models to over $10,000 per month. 
after you have been set up inside the mentorship i will immediately begin working on your ai model which will be optimized to be unique and to convert as many sales as possible for a bit of motivation let me share this i don't have to go to work once worry about clocking in or out and deal with any boss i'm finally able to travel a lot and work wherever i want once everything is automated, it just works. You can join the mentorship and start making money immediately by clicking on the link at the top of the description down below. Keep in mind that at this stage, we're only accepting 10 people. And after those 10 slots are filled, we won't be taking any new members for a very long time. Now, as AI advances faster and faster, we keep getting closer and closer to the AI singularity. That is when AI will surpass human intelligence all together. Together. Some people say it's already here and other companies like Meta are saying that they are actively pursuing the next big thing which is artificial general intelligence that can do everything a human can. So it's only a matter of time before most if not all traditional jobs get completely erased. Of course, some people like Elon Musk argue that it's not actually a bad thing, saying that it's not that you won't have a job, but that you wouldn't need one. Whether that's true or not, only time will tell. But personally, I think it's always better to start preparing sooner than later. So if you want to learn how you can make money using AI, check out this video right here. But before you do so, don't forget to subscribe. That way you will always stay up to date with AI. That's all for today. My name is Dan. David, that's Bud Bud. Like the video. See you there.